Hi guys, it's Betty. Um, I just have a little update here for you. It has been forever since I posted a video. It's just been so busy and then we actually um, took a trip out east to um, Washington DC. It was um, with my mom's family and not my mom's family, my family. <laughs> it was for my mom's birthday and we met up with my um, brother and his family and stayed out in a condo there and um, did a ton of walking. That city is amazing. There's so much to see and we didn't even, you know, cover half of it, but, um, had a great time out there. And then as long as we were out east, um, a dear friend of mine just moved to Philadelphia. And, um, so we spent the weekend at his home and another friend flew in and it was just really, really fun. And, um, I was so sad to leave and come home to reality and work, but um, I'm also here getting some time in my craft room and, um, I, you know, I'm just going to show you this because it is like, it's a disaster. Like I can't even, and this is just part of the room. This is just my desk. Like, um, it has been extremely neglected. Um, but you know, before, um, we left for our trip, I had some hauls, um, that I wanted to share and I just did not get around to. Um, so I'm just going to go through a few, just kind of a collective thing here. And then, um, I also, um, sorry for all the ums. I don't know what my problem is today. I, I feel like, you know, and I'm doing this at the front end of a little haul video here, but I feel like I'm, becoming less creative the more stuff that I have and also my scraps are building up and um so I'm going to try doing just a little bit of a series here where I'm kind of doing a use your stash or use that stash um where I'm showing the way that I'm going to be using some of my crap you know scraps and being really intentional about it and maybe just trying to inspire myself and inspire others and um you know I think it's just a way for me to get through some of those things and you know hopefully weed out some things that I'm not using and and just um you know maybe get them to somebody who can use them but anyway long-winded um explanation there but hopefully I had recorded part of that video um for the first one before I left and so I hope to post that this weekend also. Um, I hope everyone had a good National Scrapbooking Day yesterday and that you had time to play. Um, I actually did um, get to take part in a webinar um, that Noelle Hyman put on for her paper clipping, um, her paper clipping members, and it was free to them, and it was really neat. It was live yesterday, and and that was fun. Um, to do so um that was inspiring and maybe I'll do a layout one of these days and share it with you guys that would be great wouldn't it um but anyway so let me get on to my I received my SP and company um stamp of the month and um kit echo park paper kit last month obviously mid-month um in April and hadn't shown it yet but and again, it's always really hard um, to see on here with the glare and everything. But this is the Stitchery Do Banners. And I thought these were really cute. Just some cute little sentiments and some cute stitched banners. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. Um, the thing I, I think I've said this before, the thing that I like about this monthly kit is that if you don't like something, you get a preview of the stamps and paper. If you don't like it, you can always skip for the month. Um, I have done that maybe once or twice. Um, so, and Samantha is really cool about it. And obviously you wouldn't want to join and skip every month or every other month, but, um, it, it is kind of fun. And then you get 15% off in her store. So anyway, um, I'm hoping to do some, some projects with that. And then the Hello Summer paper, which you may have already all seen, but I'll just go through that super quick, but that was the kit of the month. And so really fun, bright colors here. Um, a little bit out of my, I don't know what my style is. Oh, I love the chevron. Um, and then the book that 
I feel like I'm more comfortable doing maybe clean and simple along with, um, you know, kind of some bright pops. I mean, like your lawn fawn or your, I don't even know how to describe it, but, um, but I love like vintagey too. So I, I don't know. I'm still trying to find it. Maybe that's part of my problem. I have so much stuff that anyway, I'm not doing a very good showing job showing these papers here, but, um, just your bright summery colors here. I'm hand holding this, so getting hand cramps. Sorry guys, I should have used my tripod. Oh, I like this. It's kind of like a gingham, but little dots in there. And some little doilies. Orange distress paper almost. And then some fun little border dies. I love trees. I love the cute little trees like that. Little bees. Sunshine makes me happy. Um today. And then some pattern there, some journaling cards you can cut apart, and then there's the paper, and then two sticker sheets here. Really bold and bright, if that's something you guys are into. And the letter stickers. So, anyway, that was the paper pack for the month. And then, um, we did a little Joann's haul recently. I picked up this paper crafts um, issue and then the practical solutions for paper crafters. Um, some of the storage solutions were okay. I was hoping for a little more, but I was happy that they had some cards in the back as well. So um, it's a little expensive, but I splurged. So, um, And then I also bought, I was so excited, they had this butterfly die from Tim Holtz. Um, my sister's scrapper, Ginger. Um, did a really cool, cute card with this um, border. She also had the, the sewing, one of the scissors and the spool that was really cute too. But um, So I might have to order that. But anyway, I am, I'm looking forward to using that. And then I picked up, I don't know, like the, all, the, all the Sizzix was 40% off their die cutting. And I saw this and I really, really liked it. And um, it hadn't even been something I'd seen before. And so I picked it up. But... Um, and the same for this little Sizzix um, stamp set and die set. So um, this is the only one left, actually, at Joann's. I hadn't seen them before, but this is the only one left on the shelf when I went in there. Um, and then I also picked up, with my 40% off, actually a 50% off coupon, um, a Brilliance um, ink set. And I had just seen um, Amy R's um, paper, Prairie Paper and Ink. Um, she did a little ink video, her favorite inks, and she included this Brilliance Graphite Black. So I thought I'd give that a, a try. It didn't come separately. It only came in a set. And um, that was fine because I don't really have like a Mediterranean blue. And I have a few reds, but... I feel like this is a little bit different from the others that I have. So um, I did go ahead right away and make a card with them. The blue... Sorry, they do normally stand up. Um, the sunflower yellow and the Mediterranean blue. Um, I really like yellow and blue together lately. I don't know what it is. Um, but I just made a quick little thank you note using that. And then I hit up Archivers too for... 43% um, off coupon. I got the yellow corner chomper, which is the 8th and 3 8th. I love my corner chomper, so, um, and I did use the 8th inch just to do a little tiny rounding on this card. So, um, and then while I was there, I don't know, I'm loving Chevron, but I really have wanted the Hero Arts Chevron stamp. I cannot find it, um, at my archivers, and so I probably should order, order it online, but um, anyway, they had this, Studio Calico had this bubble mask, and then I, I just wanted to try the Mr. Hueys, because I've not tried those before, so anyway, just my little collective hauls, and um, hopefully posting more videos, thanks you guys, bye!